Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Team Fight Manager. We're sitting at 10 wins, 4 losses in our first season in the semi pro league here. We're sitting kind of near the, uh, hold on, there we go. It's kind of near the top here. Giant Gooses, otherwise known as the Giant Geese, sitting in first place with just one more win, one less loss than us. We're tied with two other, uh, two other teams here. Kind of spooky. Kind of spooky. We're in the last little bit here. We are going against the Dangerous Dogs, the Glad Gorillas, the Giant Gooses. So we have two very scary games. I don't think that the Elder Elephants are uh, one of the other ones that we're worried about, right? Not necessarily. They're facing they're facing relegation right now um, with little chance for that to change. We got Dangerous Dogs, Elder Elephants, so two of the lower ranking teams. Dangerous Dogs we're going up against now. Definitely not something to be uh, flippant about. And I'm definitely, definitely thinking we're going to take an L on one of these two games, if not both. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Is there anything to spend our money on right this minute that is going to be useful? Probably not. Recruitment, remaining time three. All right, scooch, let's go. Off we go then. Uh, Devil got a major nerf last patch. That is one thing that I noticed was performing very ineffectively. But I, I don't know if it's uh, worth thinking that, you know, it's going to be a big deal about, you know. I don't know. We got Dead End, Say Justice Tom, Spence, Logical Echo, Life of the Party. Getting everybody up to super happy territory. We shall see here. What do we got? Yeah, stats-wise, we're doing all right versus them. Uh, oh, Lord. What is the meta anymore, man? What even is the meta now? Pyro's still good, but even Pyro's getting countered by stuff. Ghost is potentially good. I, I have no idea what the meta is anymore. We can pick it is the thing. There's no like really, really good assassin. But if we don't ban, if we ban two assassins, we can probably get away with picking something squishier. Who are the good assassins now? Like is Ninja the better assassin now? I think it might be with Werewolf and Devil taking two like colossal slaps. Ghost is good, but needs an entire team to activate them. Um... I don't think they're going to first pick Ghost and Knight, are they? And by first pick, I mean first pick on their side. I don't think so. Ice Mage still on the table. Uh, largely a pick to counter Assassins. See, that's the thing. is They have Ghost Knight. I feel like either the Knight or the Ice Mage can shut down Ghost. So I don't think I have to be too worried uh, Illusionist got the pretty big slap. That's it, you know, bye. Try me. I don't want to play. I don't want to play it. All right. Are you going to take double assassin? If you take double assassin, we can go knight ice mage, and I think we'll be okay. Swordsman is not something that I would say that I was expecting to see again. Uh, that, that attack nerf that he got was just kind of massive. Kind of tanky, but just... It's weird saying it, but he's a worse fighter. And the fighter's not even that good. <laughs> That's a, It's a weird thing to say. Uh, if I take knight, I can preemptively protect myself from any assassin pick here. Not going to stop them from, from doing it, but I, I'm not too worried about that. Ice Mage, I think, is another good safe pick here. There's no supports left. We have two, like, incredible, incredible back lines. We could actually take the cook now that I think about it. Hmm. That could be fine. We could run Sniper, too, and just say, screw it. But then if I take Sniper, they, they are definitely taking Devil. And in that situation, I think that we're gonna see a little bit of a nightmare scenario going on i could take ghost this could be the ghost game in that situation i'm not too worried about the devil i'm not worried about them picking that basically the situation right now is are they gonna pick sniper because that's gonna be a little bit messy 
you know let's start let's start the dang day off big ghost is sitting at a peak this is this is the peak win rate as far as i'm aware for the ghost of 50 percent 50 percent win rate so maybe we can make that happen i definitely think we want logical echo to have uh the pyro here because of smell of blood being a little bit more important on you Spence, uh, you know, there's this. I just, I kind of wish if we could change Swordsman to Ghost, Dead End Saint with Contempt for Weaklings on um, on Ghost would honestly be pretty good. Maybe we even do it anyways. But reducing all stats by ten and then ramping them up, it, it's kind of like one step forward for the ghost one step back and then heroism kind of neutrals it out i don't know it's just i don't know man it's just there's too much going on i don't know if it's good for that uh fast runner is definitely good for the ghost do we do anything special i think we alt early activate ghost send it we got them with uh they got a couple tanky fools they have a lot of like kind of tanky fools. I, here's the thing. I think Spence and, uh, on Ghost with Logical Echo on Pyro could actually be pretty good for him taking down the kills here. We're going to be watching Spence who are surely going to go down early and go down often, but then hopefully we'll be able to activate soon thereafter. They are ripping through the back line and the front line no less. We are seeing no stacks yet on the Ghost. Couple ultimates, a total whip ultimate on Justice Tom going out. Spence sitting at one stack here, three deaths, nothing really to write home about with the Ghost play yet. We're seeing a death there. We're seeing an ultimate come out from the Swordsman, able to reset the momentum back down to neutral. 10-10, this is looking very strange. Seeing Dead End stay, stay alive a little bit here. Logical Echo needs to start popping off and parping off, parping off fast. Ghost is not doing their job at all. We got one kill on the Ghost with six deaths. This late in the game is not going to be doing it. That is for sure. Could this be the season of the Ghost? It could be. We're going to need to see some pop off and pop off fast. It's 18 to 16. Final moments here. Justice Tom goes down, but after taking out one of them, Ghost getting some stacks in the end game here. Four and seven. Truly not an impressive endeavor whatsoever, but it was a bully in a way. It took a lot of damage. Like, look. Nobody took more damage than the ghost. Ghost tank? I guess so. Unfortunately, it's a lot of deaths to come with it. It was not really something that I would say worked or paid off. Uh, and then they counterpicked by going a bunch of tanks. I know that people are going to be angry about that one, but hey, we won, so shut up. Let's go. Rito Hyper, Rider dies. Where are you at? I did really bad this match. Uh, game's not over. Forget about this match. Dead and Saint, I think you're kind of, yeah, you like it like slightly rude, but only slightly. Ashbinator, we could bring in instead of, eh, instead of Justice Tom, instead of who? Logical Echo? No. Is that Spence? No, we need, we need uh, the option of Sniper main, and honestly the option of Ninja main, who currently at this point is probably the most consistent, albeit boring uh assassin maybe we do bring in justice tom instead of i think or bring out justice tom i think that we can handle the mood shifts appropriately and worse comes to worse we can always switch things back in the next game we are up this first one and i think that this is the play but i don't know honestly in this meta right now i think i prefer second pick it's kind of it's kind of twisted But I think I prefer second pick. Shrine Maiden, there's just not really a counter. It's just a good it's just a good pick. Devil. I think they're fixing to go Pyro. Let's kill the Pyro counter then. Berserker first? What is this meta? They saw Dead End Saint on Berserker at the end of the last game, and they thought that that fluke was uh was actual meta. I mean, Berserker ult is huge. This is a, we're in kind of like a low kill meta, it feels like, unless the pyro is in the game, <laughs> uh, which means I am, yes, I'm taking pyro. Uh, here's the thing. If I take pyro, they, I, I banned the thing that would help me in the event of them picking an assassin. So the question is, do I, 
What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> That's the question. I take an assassin and force them to think like, oh, we need to counter the ninja. We need to counter, counter the werewolf. I, I should have looked closer at the werewolf last game. I mean, Ninja's just good for his ability right now. He's kind of, yeah, he's kind of, eh. Tell you what, Werewolf, Werewolf is halfway between, uh, Cook, okay. Halfway between a tank and, uh, Assassin, I guess. She's not a main tank. Cook, really. Cook, cook, cook. The hell, man. Cook is kind of tanky. I can't really... I don't want to pick an assassin into this. I kind of want sniper and a tank. If I pick sniper, they get double pick. If they pick nunk, monk, shield bearer, nunk, that's kind of fine. I can go... I, like, I can go fighter if it, I have to. I, that's the thing. Is I feel like they're going to pick magic knight. They're going ghost! Monk. Probably, probably a good call. All right. Uh, definitely can put that there. Dead End Saints on Werewolf. Actually kind of huge. Because we don't want Spence to be focusing only on low HP targets. On, in, in the event that a full health ninja jumps to the back line, that's going to be a problem. Uh, old early. It's a ghost game. Must be it. I'll tell you what, whether or not it's ghost is good this season or not, this is indeed. I did call it. This is the season of the ghost. Must be the season of the ghost. Okay, we're gonna be watching the ghost, see if he gets stacks, of course. You know the name of the game, Dead End Saint, jump into the back line right off the bat. Not the time to do so. We're hopefully gonna be seeing Spence lay down a little bit of damage in the back line, able to take out the ghost before it is able to do anything to them. Getting <laughs> grabbed up, put into a little corner by Dead End Saint, grabbing him around to the shopping cart, jumping to the back line, taking a little bit of a fall here, able to keep himself alive on the back of the monk there. We are absolutely, uh, dare I say, pooping all over them. 4 to 18 moving into the end here. The big shift is going to happen now with the Berserker ult comes out and resets neutral. Is the Ghost going to be able to get the last hits in this situation? 1 and 6 on the Ghost. Again, taking the most damage on the team, second to the Berserker, who is proving to be a, a decent meta pick at the moment here, all things considered, but 12 to 23 moving into the end here. Ghost getting stacks, but it is going to be far too late at the moment here. 14 to 15 to 24 at the end. Just not even really close. Uh, on the back of, guess what? The Pyromancer that they did not first pick. Oh, man. What are these teams doing? What are they thinking? Why, why is this not getting patched? Why is this not getting banned? I don't understand. I think we just keep on scooching. Glad Gorillas. Let's uh, let's take a, take a gander here. Match record. They won their last game going double assassin. Uh, they they respect. They they went went double assassin here as well. This is not an uncommon thing for them to be doing. Why'd they go double assassin? More importantly, how'd they win this? I mean, it's like a good layout. I guess it's a fine team layout. And I guess they pick Void Knight, who, who's like weirdly meta, but I don't see it. Let me let me see the stats. I'm gonna need to see the stats here. Yeah, 31%. It's um, KDA is it's not good. So I bet you it is. Yeah, I bet you it's one of the highest damage dealt in the league. No, no doubt. I believe you there. But the KDA, it, it just tells me what I already knew, and that's the fact that the health is super low. Pyromancer win rate has fallen a lot. This makes sense to me. Knight win rate sitting at 80 is crazy. Untouched since the beginning of the game. Illusionist, honestly, okay, this tells me some good intel. Uh, Illusionist being still at 77 win rate. 
Only off, off the back of nine games, though. It's not that big. And Shrine Maiden, it's kind of just like such a neutral pick, it's hard to really say. But I, I think this means it is less dominant than it used to be. Fighter is, is dropping the ball. Swordsman's dropping the ball. Magic Knight's dropping the ball. Shield Bearer sitting at 37% after last season is weird. Uh, Knight being just the far superior tank. Devil going up. Before this uh, match, I looked before the episode, and it was sitting at a 13% win rate, and I thought that that was a fluke, and I'm happy to see that I'm right. Okay. All right. I'm not saying that that's a good stat, but I don't think that Devil is dead. It's a still it's still a good counter pick. It's probably still a better pick than... Is it? A bit? I didn't see what Ninja was at. Ash Manor, get the hell out of there. All right. I have concerns. I don't want to play Pyro. I'm not confident we can counter it. Truthfully, the first pick should be Knight. I don't know. Shrine, where are you going? I don't think that that is the play. I don't think you first pick Ghost. I I have been one of the strongest proponents of Ghost, but I don't think you first pick Ghost. I just don't think you do that. All right. And then second pick, what is wrong with you guys? What is this meta? I do I go Archer? I really, 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 really zig a zig. I uh, want Archer to get a minor buff. So I like. I don't want it to be the DPS obvious pick, but I want it to be the backline. Like I need a backline that does decent DPS, but doesn't get destroyed exclusively, like blown up by assassins. Like I think that it'd be overkill right now to go Knight, Ice Mage, and Archer. I don't think we need anything else to defend ourselves from the backline, so I do think we take the Sniper. I think it's spooky to take it into uh, take it into Ghost, certainly, but they just don't have damage. And if we pick Priestess here or Monk, 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 Monk. definitely Monk. Uh, they're not going to break through our front line. Not, not with this, not, well, Magic Knight is such a wild card. Such a wild card. Our old, alt early? I think we alt early. Mother Teresa, the ghost. Defense penetration and attack speed upgrade on the shield bearer is not what I would do. I would put that on either, literally either of those. Let's start this up here. I do expect this to be good, but we will see what a ghost with high stats does. Ghost does fall in the beginning here. Does not pick up that cheeky early uh, extra stack there. Jump to the back line. Is the sniper actually going to be able to get this? That was an incredibly close situation there. Nobody's going to be able to heal Spence up here, so he's going to take a fall to the ghost. No, he got frozen completely in place. Thankfully, we do kind of want them to be cleaned up there before the ultimates come in and clean them up with the ghost. We've got ourselves resetting back to neutral here. They are jumping to the back line, but falling down once again. Again, we just have far too much damage. Ghost being the only dive on their team is going to be able to pick up this double stack here. Potentially, no, the Ice Mage shuts him completely down. Spence taking out the Ghost in the front line. Logical Echo being jumped by the defense penetration. Shield Maiden off meta pick. Wild business. Luck, oh, Lux goes down to the back line on the, or Luke's. Goes down on the back line on the ghost once more. We're seeing an absolute shutdown of the ghost uh, as we are oft come to see. Massive damage coming out from the magic knight, but it's not really going to matter because that damage comes at the cost of four free deaths as well. Uh, Berserker's good, a solid pick, but it's like it's a it's a, it's a secondary pick. You know, it's not. It's it's not an it's like a neutral pick. It's a la it's a fourth pick. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna say Berserker ain't good. Cause I do like him and I think he has a place. I think he's a good pick fourth. 
go pick third, fourth when you, you know, you need something kind of in the middle. You don't have quite enough damage, you don't have quite enough tanks. You just need something in the middle. I think I pretty much carry the team this match. I mean, good job. You like that, Spence? You like that? Uh, I don't think we bring in... Ashbanger's just in a depressed mood. I don't think we switch this up. Ain't broke, don't fix. All right, again, I, I do kind of prefer to be second pick. Um, I'm going to hit you with the devil band still. I, I will be real. No Pyro Band. Shield Bearer Band. I think we take Pyro. I kind of expect to see double Assassin. No? What? Okay, Priestess makes sense. Priestess makes sense. I think we take Werewolf. Not because it's great, but because we need them to not have it. And if they go Ninja Ghost at this point, then I think that we can counter that. That, that, that's the concern right there. Yeah, that one's, that one's the concern right there. Uh, Monk, we definitely take here. That's a super obvious pick. All right, let's look at this. If we go Sniper, they go Ninja. If we go Ninja, we are stupid. If we go Shrineman, they go question mark, question mark, question mark. They don't have a lot of damage. Sniper, Sniper Void, uh, Magic Knight together could be pretty good. Um, Ice Mage shuts down any potential they have to do diving. If they do go for diving, but they, if I pick Ice Mage, they probably pick Sniper and it probably does well, if I'm being honest. Um, I feel like Magic Knight explodes to Pyro. Why would you pick it? I'm surprised. I don't know. There's something to it, I'm sure, but I don't know what it is. I think we just take Shrine Maiden because we have good damage here. Uh, um, this could go wrong. I don't expect it to. Hidden potential heroism on Shrine Maiden. I don't mind if I do. Sure, why not? Again, it's a ghost. We will run the early alts here. They did get the knight, which is maybe the biggest thing here. But I do feel like Pyro versus the knight is a pretty good setup here. You've seen the Pyro take down two kills immediately as the game begins here. The knight able to lay up for quite a while here. Are they going to be able to take down the backline squishies? They were not on the back of the ghost there. Ultimate coming out from Logical Echo. The incredible ultimate actually from the monk, keeping Logical Echo alive, saving themselves from an early ghost stack. First stack coming out on the ghost. Are we going to see a couple more? We're at 11-7 early on in the game here, but our ultimates are off the table. All the ultimates are off the table. We're seeing a reset neutral causing a massive issue here. The ghost is starting to bounce around. Ping pong through the back line. Getting far too many stacks for this early. Nine stacks on the ghost. Could this be the ghost game? We're seeing seven stacks on the ghost. Oh my god. Eight, 15 stacks on the ghost. This was the game. Could it be? The season of the ghost absolutely chomping through the backline like they were nothing. Nobody on our team able to do anything. Logical Echo almost able, uh, almost able to carry that there. Piglet on Magic Knight did 2,500 damage. How? I feel like this, okay, I feel like this setup in specific is good. I can see it here. Knight to taunt off of Magic Knight. And Priestess to super heal. And then all the while, Ghost is a little piece of trash in the back. I I guess I should have counted on Ghost being a, being a potential counter there. I thought that the Shrine Maiden would be able to keep themselves alive throughout the Ghost situation. Uh, they didn't. 
sure. Okay, Ashbender is depressed as hell. I'm, I'm not bringing in somebody who's that sad right now. All right. I don't... Do we need to ban Ghost, though? I'm banning Pyro because they get first pick, and I... Okay, they ban Ghost. What counters Knight so we can make them not want it? I don't know how to play Magic Knight, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, Sniper. I mean, we have the knight, so we should be okay against some backline. I, I was going to say, why am I not seeing a werewolf come out here? I don't know. Uh, with this setup, I think we just need another front line. I think we go monk. Monk has been just very solid. It's a character that Justice Tom is good on. Uh, we got mains across the board. This is going to be interesting. I don't know why they took fighter swordsman. And we will maybe see why. I don't know. I guess the, uh, May is super main on the fighter here. Uh, I am worried about the werewolf. Like, don't get me wrong. I am worried about the werewolf. I hope that the knight is able to shut it down. They got the ice mage that would be the similar counter there. I am worried about this werewolf. And they have a lot of... They have a lot of pretty decent damage. Ice Mage still puts out a lot. Like, I Ice Mage is going to be concerning since it is Piglet who wrecked us last time. I remember, this is this is the the character that got us the rude wake-up call when we entered the semi-pro league. They were playing Sniper when we last saw, but now we are the ones that are playing Sniper. Let us see how that ends up working for us. Uh, all simultaneously, actually. Uh, we want to protect everything. Sniper being the only kind of like aggro alt. Their alts are better than our alts for getting kills here. Let's check this out. Big thing to watch is how much kills is the werewolf going to get. They were not able to do anything right off the beginning. They're putting out a lot of damage out here originally on the initial assault. Most of it coming out from, of course, you guessed it, Piglet on the Ice Mage. Something we need to watch. A terrible ult from the Swordsman. Getting that one off the table right off the bat is actually very nice. Everybody being put all together there on the back of the Werewolf Ultimate. I don't think that it was quite the time for that. Seeing an ultimate come down from Piglet, but we are going to take them out with an ultimate of our own from the Sniper. Ultimate coming down from the Illusionist. Are these ghosts going to be able to wreak havoc on them? It seems like it was going to actually reset back to neutral here. Neutral where we potentially do thrive. We're seeing the Werewolf go down to the back line. Swordsman not able to do too much. Fighter is putting up a very good fight in the moment here but again it's all on the back of piglet here sitting at 12 and 18 in the last five seconds here are they going to be able to get five kills stranger things have happened but currently there's no new season all right the rito hyper is up the ladder rito hypers has won a decisive match that moved it up to third place Rito Hypers won against the Glad Gorillas and recorded 12 wins, 4 losses, and plus 9 points. On the other hand, due to today's loss, Glad Gorillas moved down to 4th place, recorded 11 wins, 5 losses, and fit plus 15 points. Having won an important match, the Rito Hypers is likely to keep showing good results. Glad Gorillas will have to make up for this defeat by improving their performance and fighting till the very end. Oh! A gift has arrived from Social Calamity's fan with a message saying that they will always support him or her. Check the gift in your management equipment. Warrior Champion Mastery plus 12. Can we off meta nuttiness? Can we go all in on like Berserker Meme Dream? Dead End Sand get the uh, defense buff and a Berserker main up. I uh, got a little bit of attack defense on Logical Echo. Attack defense on Ashbinator. But holy moly, man. What the cannoli? 
Oh my, it's a... On top of the fact that it's a defense. It's a, or a chair. It's a chair. I thought it was a shirt. Like a... Like an out outfit, like a costume. A costume. Oh my god. That is crazy. Should check some champ stats, but honestly, let's just go. Oh, we definitely should have checked some champ stats. It's the leaders of the league. Look at this. We can definitely do some Void Knight memery. Anybody else have an off main warrior? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh boy. I think we first pick Knight have a you know, have a good time. Um I mean we could actually play around maybe. Taking the pyro. With like because I feel like Knight is countered by Pyro, so they're not gonna want Pyro. Pick Pyro. Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't want to play it this game. Oof. Oof. All right. What? What's the counter? Let me know. What's the counter to Pyro? Monk? I don't feel like that makes sense. Sniper, that, you know, maybe it was just a cover for Sniper there. Because the Monk is, like, actually a good tank. Sniper. Um... I could pick Berserker. Dead and Saint could go wild. Let me hopefully accrue another tank in some regard, either maybe fight or something. I don't. Magic Knight. That that makes sense. I I, I get it. I don't under, I don't get it yet, but I get it. I could go Werewolf and then Priestess. Because then there's the only backline left is Ninja, and I don't think they would pick it. And Werewolf helps us take down their Sniper. The pick isn't Ninja, is it? It could be. If I do this, what do they take? Uh, they take Ice Mage. It's good, but I'm fine with it, I think. They take Fighter. I, am I underrating Fighter? To an extreme, I must be. I don't know if I think this is a great team, but I think it's a good team. I think that uh, Dead End Saints sitting at 4140 on the Berserker is going to be really nice. Justice Tom on the best main they can be on like this is fine i'm terrified about their frontline monk yeah well, i mean you know it's fine jenkins being a big concern of course but we do have uh the berserker who can only chop their way through to it we have the pyromancer we took the priestess so that they couldn't counter us with it i i don't know man we just do our best how about that? We just do our best. Uh, let's see the ultimates. Simultaneously again, maybe? No, sep. Ah, I want some of them simultaneously, some of them separate. Let's just alt um, late, maybe? I almost don't want to do any instructions at all for this. Widen distance to dodge Void uh, Magic Knight. Aye, aye, aye. This is maybe kind of dumb, but 
Let's do it. We're going to be watching Jenkins in the back here. It's going to be a really important, crucial one to watch here. Dead End Saint running around the field like a dang goofus because of the little, what is it called? Because of the contempt for the weaklings going to cause a little bit of a problem here. Peanut jumping through the back line. Dead End Saint, oh my god, getting blown up by the ultimate. But it is relatively neutral here in the moment due to the fact that they have spent all of their ultimates and we are at neutral. Is going to be a good situation. It's much less neutral now. We're seeing an ultimate come out from our entire team. Resetting neutral back 18, 9 to 12 here, actually, in the moment. We're seeing the Spence go down. We are unable to take down the Sniper. Sniper went down to the back line due to the fact of the AoE from the Pyromancer. Nobody able to take down Jenkins in the back line. Berserker running around like a big old goof. We're going to need to see him start to pop off and pop off very quick. Spence able to take out the back line there. We're sitting at 16-19 as the last few moments here. We are unable to clinch it, but it was incredibly close on the back of 20-21. It makes me want to cry. Dead End Saint was unable to activate. The contempt for the weaklings really not helping there on a warrior running around far too much. Uh, a pretty embarrassing amount of healing coming out from Justice Tom as well, uh, I would say, considering the fact that it should have been pretty uncontested. Obviously, goes without saying, Logical Echo did a lot. I think that it's time to probably stop taking the werewolf. I, I think that it's not... It ain't working. You're not at fault. Wait. Oh, you're cool with that. Okay, good. Oh, and Ashmanator's still depressed. I think we do it anyway. The plus 18 on the Void Knight is too tantalizing. To be fair, this was the one I really expected to lose, but I would it'd be cool if I didn't have to. I don't think there's enough things that kill backlines that work right now. All right, these two together, I think, are huge. Especially with Pyro off the table. Okay, I think that that's big. I think that's big. Uh, so we have those two. We've also got... Probably want to take... Additional tankiness, additional healing. They're going for... They don't have a lot of damage yet. I think if we take the Monk, we can cause a problem. Ghost. We have to take Ice Mage, right? Only backline that can shut down the ghost, really. Absolutely nutty. <laughs> Stats on these. Um... Man, they, I guess we have Spence on Monk. This is going to be weird for Spence, that's for sure. We're going to do the ult early. Hopefully shut down the dang ghost. Uh, got a good ultimate in the Berserker, but it's going to take any of the stacks that Ghost might want. Uh, ghost having Gale is a little bit concerning. Ashbinator, the Relief Pitcher, Pocket Void Knight. Could it be? Is this the prophecy that we foretold long, long ago? When I first saw Ash Manor, I saw Relief Pitcher, Magic Knight. I said, is the meta going to shift? Are we going to be able to take a DPS pocket surprise main Magic Knight on Ash Manor? If there's ever a time for this to be true, it's going to be this game. The big, big moment determining, more or less almost determining whether or not we are going to be in the finals, vying for finals of our bracket here. If we get three buys or not, it's going to be up to this, more or less, almost, kind of. Just treat it like yes. We're going to be watching the ghost go down incredibly quickly here. Magic Knight chop, 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 and away. Seeing Dead End Saint run to the back line. Hopefully, we are going to be able to take out Peanut here. We took out Peanut, the ghost. Don't have to worry about that. The Monk is able to keep up a lot of our defenses here. Ultimate coming out from their Berserker, but it is completely limp embarrassing even we're seeing an ultimate come out from the priestess going to be able able to keep them alive but is it going to make us do any uh deaths probably not 
I phrased that. I got that one out there. Nonetheless, the Knight able to 1v1 the Ghost all by themselves right now. Knight is taking down the Priestess in the back line, but it's a little bit out of positioning here. I would not recommend this be the play here. Ashmanator chomping down through the front line here. Ghost starting to get their stacks off the back of an interesting situation early here. An incredibly low kill game, 5-8. to eight. We're seeing a lot of our team on death's door in the moment here. We're going to need Logical Echo to keep themselves alive here in the last few moments. Zero seconds left in 7-8. On the back of a carry from Ashpinator, a relief pitcher. Peanut almost able to turn that around. Surely if that game went on another 10-20 seconds. It was going to be in the favor of them, but guess what? That is not the game we are playing. We are playing the game where Ashpinator has a main. I'd like to play Magic Knight next match. I'm pretty confident. I'm scared of it. I am I am most certainly not confident, but I will I will definitely consider it. 23! I don't think we can play Magic Knight into Pyro. Oof. Okay, Knight. Oof! Oh no, they know. Dead End Saint kind of pooped the bed there last time with the uh, Shield Bearer, or with the uh, Berserker. Do we not give it a run back? There's nothing on the field uniquely, specifically, that I'm too worried about. If I pick Shield Bearer, they're not going to pick Ghost into this. I, okay. They're going to pick Ghost into this. I don't understand. I take Ice Mage then. Priestess. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know what I can take into Ghost with this. You got me there. I don't know what to take into Ghost with this. Werewolf has been kind of flimsy. Devil has been a little flimsy as well. And we don't have mains on it. Let's think. What are we scared of? I'm not particularly scared of the werewolf. I'm a little scared of, like, the illusionist. How... Uh, ah! You son of a gun. We go monk. What would shrine mate? What would shrine maiden werewolf look like to me? Not too bad. Not too bad. I could probably play illusionist and get away with it. I could probably play Illusionist Monk and get away with it. They have one pick left. It's They don't have great damage. I could probably play Illusionist Berserker actually get away with it. I could probably play Illusionist Werewolf get away with it. Smell of Blood on Logical Echo could be fun, but I think we go fast runner on Spence for that. Uh, I guess we bring in Ashpinator on your relief pitcher, I guess. We go for that. Unless we rock this, which is honestly not particularly much different. Contempt for the Weaklings on Ice Mage. No, we don't want that on our carry. We want that here. Okay. Uh, 
Because we don't... I don't know, man. Ultra early. Send it. Just don't care. Send it. Send it. Send it. We got this. Come on, baby. Watch the ghost. Watch it go. Watch it as it ghosts. We got the dead end saints sitting in the middle there. The massive stat boost keeping them alive. Getting the stack from the ult or from the ghost right off the bat is a little bit concerning here. Spence chop, chop, chop it away to very little effect. Ultimate coming out from the shield maiden to a completely ineffective swordsman ult at the terrible timing of that there. We're seeing Jenkins going toe to toe up there with the ghost. Ghost getting a stack. Dead end saint going down, giving the ghost yet another stack. Ghost getting another stack. Ghost getting yet, guess what? Another stack. Five stacks on the ghost. This is going to be the moment. Is the ghost going to carry? Ghost jumping to the back line here. Are they going to be get, able to get frozen? They are able to get frozen. We don't have the damage to keep them down here. Seven to six. Edward going down on the monk. Not happening. Not having it. Seven to eight. Seeing the ghost absolutely carry in the last little bit here is enough to break a guy's heart. Why couldn't it be me? Ghost? Must be the season of the ghost. A lot of damage coming out from uh, the swordsman there too. Something to consider. Uh, also worth considering, zero kills. That was a that was a sobering loss. And honestly, looking at all of the damage we put out, and looking at all the damage they put out, I'm actually confused. The the uh, the priestess able to just out heal everything that we were doing is is really I guess what it comes down to. Priestess completely overhealed the damage of our highest damage dealer. So I guess that's the that's the key component of the moment. Losing the game to the giant geese entirely makes sense there. That is not a surprise. Zoom, Mr. Careful. When HP is full, attack speed increases by 5%. I hate it. I just I just hate heroism. I just don't I don't like him. I think it's bad. Oof. The evil elk. Going to the playoffs. It's okay. It's okay. If we drop this next game, we're still going to playoff round two. Let's check the schedule. Evil elk versus the... Okay. Evil elk versus the giant gooses. We need them to drop the game. Evil elk needs to lose and we need to win. And then we get to go to the semifinals. We get buys in the first round. All right, last match of the day. This one is uh, this one's big. Should not be a problem. Going against somebody with a three win, fourteen loss track record. But I am not going to say that we should write them off. Definitely not. I I just. I don't know, man. I'm not playing against that thing right now. That thing it scares me. They get first pick. They have to know that Pyro's the pick, right? Conceptually, right? They have to know right now. It, maybe it isn't anymore. Maybe because, like, maybe we can actually leave Pyro unbanned and they won't pick it because they just don't. I don't know. All right, so what do we do? Sniper. Monk. Werewolf. Do we just play the fighter? The AOE of it is kind of nice. The werewolf. I could play Berserker, just on somebody else. The terrible attack is just so, ugh, it's so bad though. It's so, so bad. I do think, I, okay, I think we have to Ice Mage to shut down the, uh, the, the werewolf. We'll see what happens here. 
fact that I don't have a warrior yet, though. Is there any AoE left? They don't have any healing. I... They also don't have that... Well, no, I can't say they don't have that much damage when they have the Magic Knight. They're not supposed to have that much damage, but they do have a lot of damage. Get the Monk. Let's take the Warrior Mastery, man. Ah! I hate it. I hate it. But he's not going to be running. Uh, Contempt for the weaklings is only concerning when there's like backline to run to. Not as concerned right now. Alt separate. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Watch Spence take down the front line there. We're seeing the werewolf go down early, which is a very, very nice thing to see. We're seeing the big old tank conglomerate moving down to the bottom right of the corner here. Spence being taken out by the werewolf in the back. Void Knight ultimate going out early, which is good to get that out of the way. Ultimate coming out from both their werewolf and their shield main at the right or at the same time there. I would not say that that was the time for the shield main, but the werewolf was totally fine. Sitting at a 10 and 5 game, but things are about to shift more so in our favor as that is oft going to be the case. We have our ultimates coming out now. Berserker ultimate coming out, taking down the back line, taking down the front line, taking down the front line, back line, back line, front line. 11 to 13 moving in favor of our team here. Spence going to be sitting in the back, not having to worry about anybody spawning on his face. And he is going to be taking them out. Moving back. Please back up. We've seen Dead End Saint hopefully going to be stacked out. Out of his dang mind here. Dead End Saint chopping through the front line. Chopping through the back line. The front back line. They're all the same thing in the game like this. We've got 17 to 20. A lot of it on the back of the fact that we have Spence. Our tried and true sniper main. Marksman master. Incredible amount of tanking. Done by Dead End Saint. You would think it would be better, but boy, the Berserker just ain't the best. But I will take it. With which mentality are we going to play next match? Be aggressive. All right. Let's get silly. Let's get silly. We go a bunch of warriors. I don't want any AoE on the table. Okay. Fair. Entirely fair. But we take Knight. Ghost. Sniper. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um... Hmm. Is Ice Mage even good enough for this? Like, can Ice Mage actually handle this? I don't know. Devil. They went there. They went there, double assassin. We have to take fighter. Uh, All right, you're going there. We're going the triple assassin. <laughs> oh God, what is this game, man? All right, let's check it all early, I guess. Going to be watching how many deaths is Logical Echo going to get is going to be a big old thing we're going to watch here today. Logical Echo taking down the back line, stunning the werewolf, getting teleported back into the thick of the warrior clump in the middle here. We are getting a lot of the early game kills here, but is the ghost able to get the stacks off? That's going to be the big old question of the day. Seeing the ultimate come out from our Berserker at the perfect time, keeping down their devil so they cannot get their stacks off. They're 
<laughs> their time off. Their metamorphosis ultimate going down here. We got the sniper. Spence able to chop, chop, chop his way in through the day, keeping their attention and taking them away. We've got ourselves a clean lead 15 8 but we are going to see hopefully uh, a little bit more of a competition here from the ghosts <laughs> gonna go triple assassin you want to see a little bit more spark than this but it's been honestly a pretty limp game 18 12 seeing a little bit more action coming out from mostly the sniper in the back line unable to get touched because we do not have a back line dive spence keeping himself alive and we got the we countered memes with memes and our meme was the true one uh, triple, triple warrior plus one, uh, ice mage moving on to the playoffs here. You're in the t league's top five. You can now advance the playoff. The playoffs is the best of five tournament round one, fifth ranked team, but it doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll just take a look at it, man. I gotta be honest. Brad. Welcome back, my friend. You just, just got to express ticket right back to the team. We need we need a person who's good at fighter, honestly. I think it's uh, worth considering now. Smith. All right, weekly activity. This is all going to be something we're going to play around with tomorrow. We will know the fate of the Rito Hypers in the semi-pro league here. Oh my god. Oh my dang. The semi-pro league finals are going to be tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'm quite excited. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you really got to let me know. So make sure you comment down below. This has been Team Fight Manager. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point, and a huge thank you to the Patreon supporters that these characters are named after. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.